This video and the tools used to easily create a new website are brought to you by the geniuses over at Wix. This is Pocket Now, and I'm Joshua Fagar. What's going on, everybody? And I just named off basically two different brands there. Now, after I went ahead and started my own solo career, and I also freelance here as the host of the Pocket Now Weekly, but also as an occasional video creator on Pocket Now, obviously, I have a lot of different projects that I have my hands in. And I've started even more of them recently, and I needed a place to put them all together. Now, when you're a tech YouTuber, when you're on social media, when you're on Twitter half the time, uh, but you also have other things like podcasts, Podcast, obviously you want a place to be able to put that all together and one of the most natural and also original ways of consolidating all of your content is through a website. Now I do have the domain joshuavergara.com but I haven't hosted it anywhere or had a website made in that domain for quite a while and that was when a good opportunity came in to check out the work of the guys over at Wix. In this video I'm going to go through the main web browser version of it uh, that way we can see what kind of tools we have once you sit down at a computer and put together this website from scratch. At first it feels like a daunting experience trying to create a website from scratch. You need to figure out what kind of elements you want to have on there and then once you even know what kind of information you want to put out there, how are you going to even design it? Well. The people over at Wix actually help out with that from the get-go. Once you start to sign up for their free plan, uh, they ask you a number of different questions and it's from there that they can actually cater a website, a beginner's template for you uh, that will have those elements in mind. What I found very interesting is that a couple of the questions dealt with me as a person and as a brand. And what I ended up finding was a listing uh, for a template that had the tech YouTuber in mind. There's so many different categories here, but based upon the kind of category you put your website into or who you as a brand are, it will then find the different elements that Wix can provide on websites and put them into an easy to edit template. After a few choices here and there about what my template would look like at least at the start and then I can edit it later, I'm then brought into the Wix ADI. This is where I could actually create the content, meet, and design of the website and it was through a tool, uh, an editor of sorts, that made the process super simple. I needed no coding knowledge, I just needed to look at the different elements that they gave me, maybe change the colors around a little bit, and using my logo, um, I'm really happy to have black, white, and this shade of green available as my main website colors and it did a great job of molding it all together in a minimalistic design. So what are the elements that I'm really trying to have here? Well, I obviously want to have my face on the website so you know where you are, uh, have my YouTube channel as part of a feed uh, right below that, that way you can see all of my videos if you're coming to my website for the first time and you may or may not be familiar with my YouTube channel to begin with. And then below that I can do some blog posts so I can post other things onto my website uh, that may not fall into the YouTube category or the social media category that I created down below. There is a built-in Instagram feed that just scrolls through all of my photos over on my Instagram profile and it makes this website much more visually pleasing. After all, as a visual content creator, I want to have everything that I create as part of the main backdrop. And finally, at the bottom, a place for people to be able to get in touch with me. All of these elements, minus the Twitter feed, which I'll get to in a second, were created within the window of less than an hour, honestly, because from the beginning to the end of having a good looking website without even having to code one thing, I was able to have a good looking website that looks good on desktop, but also uh, works perfectly on a mobile browser. And this was all via a free plan, so you can get started right away. But I did spring for uh, a premium plan, the unlimited plan, uh, because I wanted to connect my domain that I said already I owned, joshuavergara.com. Uh, that way I can have the branding be the same all across the board, and it's easy to just tell people to head to my website, and then it will consolidate all of the different things that I'm up to right now. All of the paid plans give you a lot of different features, uh, however the one that I picked gives me a little bit of storage on the Wix servers if I have to use it, but that's okay because all of the content that I want to show on the website is embedded from the original source, like YouTube or Instagram, uh, and because of that Wix doesn't charge anything for putting that media onto your website. So if you want to get a little more fancy, you can actually get into an advanced editor. Uh, you're going to go past the Wix ADI and go into a drag and drop um, apparatus where you still don't need to have any coding experience, you just have to put a little bit more due diligence into uh, arranging everything and putting them into different guidelines, uh, and also making sure that none of the elements overlap one another. And that's how I added in a Twitter feed, uh, the official Twitter embed from Twitter.com uh, of my profile and the many tweets that I have. 
And the other layer that I don't have to worry about is making sure it's compatible across all devices as Wix takes care of that themselves. You've seen the desktop version of the, or rather the regular web version of the website behind me this entire video, but right here on my Android smartphone, I have the version of it already scaled perfectly. Wix takes care of all of this and it's a good looking website that I can give to anybody and they can even access on their smartphones uh, so that they can see all of my information and all the projects I'm doing. So if you haven't noticed by now, I'm very impressed with what I've gotten out of Wix just in the short amount of time that it took for me to create joshuavagara.com once again. It's been a long time since I've had a website because it's usually a daunting experience or process to go through all of the little bits and pieces of a website builder, but Wix makes it as easy as possible and you can get a good looking website pretty easily. If you want to learn more about how easy Wix makes it for you to create a website, you can head to the links in the description down below. Uh, let us know what websites you might host on Wix as well, and if you get into the comment sections, we can discuss what it's like to have a brand and also to be able to put it all out there. And of course, you can check out my content as well at my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Joshua Vergara, and find me on all of my social media channels. If you want an easy place to find all of that, you can just head over to the website I've been talking about this whole time, joshuavergara.com. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to me. Just kind of talk about Wix for a little bit. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Drop some likes on the videos and look forward to our next video.